Solventize over a galvanized surface. In this video, we're going to use the solventize over the galvanized coating that's on this lantern. And I'm hoping this video will service those uh, DIYers or do-it-yourselfers who might be interested in doing a similar application, whether it be on a lantern like this or a sign. A lot of the times when you go to your hobby store, you'll find little knickknacks like these that just look a little bit better if you can get some color on them. So this is a great way to get some color and actually use that backing that the galvanized coating comes with to your advantage. So first we're going to degrease it with just isopropyl alcohol and a paper towel. We're not scotch brighting it because we don't want to get rid of the pattern. So here we're going to go in with just the blue solvent dye. And you can see I'm just going to put it on a rag and a microfiber towel and just burnish it in. And ultimately I just want to try and make it so I don't have any ridges. It will auto level to a certain extent but it will dry fast so make sure you try and get those ridges out uh, or else we could be seeing those later on. And later in this video I'm going to use a airbrush to try and uh, finish it up, the rest of it up a little bit quicker but I wanted to show the differences here that you can put it on with a microfiber towel and it looks just fine. It looks pretty good actually um, and there's not much of a difference and I'm going to use the just the 10 or $15 uh, airbrush from Harbor Freight and they're nice and cheap easy to use you just need to have an air source and uh, put it on completely full concentration and the ultimate thing is when you're doing this you want to go not too thick and that's the trick with the uh, burnishing it in as well with the microfiber towel is it looks really nice nice and thin but as you get darker and darker and darker you can start losing a little bit more of those patterns and it's a lot of the times it's a lot nicer to see the highs and lows rather than it is to just have an opaque color but that's up to you know to each their own and what you're liking but ultimately you know the airbrush just lets me move a little bit quicker but we will show the differences between the two so we can see that as well. And we will put a clear coat on this as I put clear coats on everything I do. Here we're going to use the color lock and I'll go back with the Everclear for protection since this will be outside. But ultimately the color lock if you haven't seen in other videos just makes the solvent dyes look amazing. So it's a great option just to make everything pop up and really look the best it can. You can see it just lightens up brings out some of those uh, naturally modeling effects that we had and ultimately it's just really a great tool to have. And here we have our top section and this is the side that we uh, put on with a microfiber towel. You can see it's nice and smooth and here's the rest of it and uh, that we did with the airbrush. So both options work great. Solvent dyes are available at www.sculptnouveau.com